Martin Patella, health coach at Life Enthusiast. Uh, today I would like to talk to you about structured water. There are four characteristics of structured water that I want to talk to you about that we are measuring. That is the surface tension, the pH balance, the oxidation reduction potential, and the cluster size. So surface tension. Surface tension is affected by surfactants, like if you add soap to water, it will sheet or bead. When water is uh, high surface tension, it beads up high, like on your, uh, you can see it on the hood of your car where there are big beads of water. When the surface tension is lower, it sheets, it just completely lays flat on it. Now the advantage of lower surface tension is that the solvent is more effective, which means that you're going to get um, more of the nutrients that you have dissolved in the water transported to your cells and more of the toxins that the cells are getting rid of transported away from the cells. It's, it's better transport, just like paving a path, turning it into a highway, you can move more goods on it. The second thing is the pH balance. Um, these devices that I'm talking about, such as uh, this wonderful little bag of prills, especially when it's coupled with something like this. This We call this uh, a crystal pearl. So changing the pH, we're lowering acidity, which means your body, when it creates stress, creates acidity, and you need to counteract it. You have probably heard that alkaline is good because it gives you a sunny disposition, whereas acidic is sour and gives you a miserable outlook on life. It's quite a bit like that. So the modern lifestyle creates an excess of acidity. So drinking alkaline water has got alkalizing influence on your body, which then means you're going to feel better. The third thing is oxidation reduction potential. That's the water's willingness or ability to support chemical reaction. The potential means is how far or how fast or how willingly an oxidating or reducing transaction takes place. That means uh, your vitamins are going to be more effective, your nutrients are going to be taken up faster, all of your metabolism is going to work with greater effectiveness. And the effect of the ORP of these things is that the negative voltage goes up or travels more into the negative uh, direction, which then means it's as if you added, say, some vitamin C to your water. And finally, the fourth one, that is the clustering. It's difficult to measure. The, the best uh, method that we know of is the NMR, uh, 170. It's a resonance method. Uh, you're essentially sending an ultrasound into the fluid and you're hoping that you pick up the resonance and it's uh, resonating at a particular frequency and the lower the frequency, the smaller the cluster clustering, blah, 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 scientific mumbo jumbo. The point of that is that when your water is smaller clusters, it's able to get into your cells better. There's such a thing that's called aquaporin channel. Every cell of your body in its membrane has openings that can uh, let through water, but it only happens one molecule at a time. So when you have water that's clustered, say, um, let's, let's demonstrate a cluster with this. So if we have an opening this big and we're trying to get something through that opening, it's not going to happen. If on the other hand, we are able to untie this clustering, we'll end up with these individual molecules or individual bits going through that opening. This is highly important because all the nutrients are coming into your cells on water or with water molecules. And importantly, uh, toxins are leaving the same way. If then you have clustering that's too large, it just doesn't get through. So you may have irrigation, there's plenty of water outside of the cell, but you don't get hydration, which means that the water is getting into your or out of your cells. So these devices. So here's here's the prill. Oh, by the way, prill is a word for making small ceramic blobs out of something. These we call the precious prills. These are made from magnesium oxide and we supercharge them in something we call the star chamber. It's an argon accumulator. 
Orgon being the life name for life force. And uh, these little beads, they are filled with what we call laminar crystal, a special form of silicate. And so you, when you toss, put all of these things into a water jug, in fact, let me show you what it looks like in a water jug. Let me just step off the camera here. It's heavy, it's full of water. Here is the water jug. So you can see that at the top there, there's a there's some air trapped in it. So there's a bag of these crystal pearls floating. And here at the bottom, you would be seeing the bag of pearls sitting at the bottom. So that's what it looks like. I also have some crystals added to this. And this is a one gallon jug. When you dr drink that pearl water, those four things come into play. You have more nutrient absorption, you have more alkalinity, you have better reactivity, and you're hydrated at the cellular level. And that I would illustrate best as turning prunes back into the plums, or raisins back into grapes. Mm -hmm.